Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, today we are studying English through questions. And today's topic is tag questions. Tag questions. The first sentence, nothing was damaged during the storm. So the sentence is just negative. So we need to find a positive uh, verb, which is was. And then the nothing was damaged so it's gonna be it so was it so answer is going to be d and number two the news that they failed their driving test discouraged him so discouraged is the verb and then this is a positive so we need to use a negative and then the whole thing becomes it so didn't it the answer is going to be D. If you had been strong, you'd have uh, done it easily. So this part, this is the main clause. And then this is you would. So you would. And then this is positive. You need to use a wooden. And then the subject is you, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Answer is going to be C. Let's read the sentences with the answers. Nothing was damaged during the storm, was it? The news that they failed their driving test discouraged him, didn't it? If you had been strong, you'd have done it easily, wouldn't you? Number four, Mrs. Black doesn't believe her son is able to draw such a picture. So subject is Mrs. Black. And then this is negative, so we need to use does, positive, and then subject, she, does she. So answer is going to be C. No, number five, he comes late sometimes. So this is comes is positive, so we need to find, make it negative, doesn't. And then he's the subject, doesn't he? So answer is going to be A. Number six, he failed to do anything last week. So fail, this is past tense and positive. So we need to make a negative. Didn't and he is the subject, didn't he? Answer is going to be B. Let's read the sentences one more time. Mrs. Black doesn't believe her son is able to draw such a picture, does she? Number five, he comes late sometimes, doesn't he? He failed to do anything last weekend, didn't he? Now, number seven, we had to wait a long time to get our visa. So, had to, had is past tense, and then positive. So, we need to put didn't, and then we is the subject, didn't we? So, answer is going to be P. We had to wait a long time to get our visa, didn't we? And number eight, what he said is impossible. So the is is the uh, a verb, and then the, this is a, a positive. So you have to make it negative. And then the thing is going to be it, isn't it? So answer is going to be the. What he said is impossible, isn't it? And number nine, this is the first time that your grandpa has come to America. And then is the first time. So isn't is going to be isn't. And then the whole thing can be it, isn't it? So answer is going to be B. This is the first time that your grandpa has come to America, isn't it? So let's read the sentences with answers. We had to wait a long time to get our visa, didn't we? What he said is impossible, isn't it? This is the first time that your grandpa has come to America, isn't it? And the last question for today, does Miss Hardly ever go on travel? So first of all, this is go and then present. So we need to use do and then hardly is negative. So you don't need to use don't, don't. So just do and then the Smith is the Smith family. It's plural, so you need to say 
do they? So answer is going to be C. Do they? The Smith hardly ever go on travel. Do they? Okay, friends, this is the conclusion uh, for today's study. I will come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.